Hi everybody, it's Carrie from Carrie's Corner. How are you doing today? Wanted to share with you this afternoon um, a video, a DIY video on distressing wooden corbels. Um, I mentioned last week that I was at an antique show and I was looking for wooden corbels. Found some very similar to these, but they were $500 for the pair. And I just think that that's extortion. <laughs> Sorry, I just think that spending that kind of money on wooden corbels is just not what I'm willing to do. So today I decided I was going to go to some flea markets and see what was around. And lo and behold, I found wooden corbels. Now, these wooden corbels, and I don't know if I can do this very well, so please excuse me if I screw up the video here. This is a wooden corbel. And it's been distressed. That's what it looked like today when I purchased it, this terrible, yucky brown color. And so what I wanted is I wanted it to look old and I wanted it to look antique. And so what I did is I got the, purchased the wooden corbels for less than $100 for the pair. And what I needed for the, for the process of DIYing is, is two paint brushes, Dollar paint brushes is all you need. Cheap, just down and dirty craft brushes. Two of them, one for white paint. White paint is one part paint and a half part water. And then the other one is black paint. Any black paint will work. And don't go spending a lot of money on these paint brushes because they're not worth it. You're gonna throw them away when you're done. So I spent less I spent, guys, I spent less than $80 for these huge 36 inch wooden corbels. I've got $2 in paint brushes and maybe, maybe a dollar in paint. So these corbels now that are completely finished and they are absolutely beautiful. And there's two of them. I'm into that for less than $100 where a very similar one last week, I was gonna be into it for $500. So this is why I'm so passionate about DIY, because you can really, really save a lot of money and get the look you're looking for, which for me is farmhouse, my whole house is farmhouse, and you can save a lot of money and you can, you can enhance your home and you can do it on a really, really tight budget. Um, I do it on a tight budget because I just, I don't like to spend that kind of money. I think $500 is, is just astronomical. Um, and going to out of way places, um, antique stores and flea markets and those type of places, you're always going to find really, really good bang for your buck because you can then take it home and get it in the condition that you want it in and make it your own. And that is what is so fantastic, in my opinion, about DIY. So these corbels are all ready to go. Um, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you where they're gonna go. They're gonna go in this big opening right here. You can see. Um, my husband and my son, when they get home, uh, they're going to install them with wooden screws. And then when I'm done, I'll just have to take a little bit of paint and cover up the screws. And you will never know that they're um, not part of the house, that they didn't come with the house. And this is what this is what Carrie's Corner is all about. It's helping you get your house, if this is the kind of um, design that you want, in this case, it's a farmhouse. My, it's a, it's an older home, and um, we've come in and we've made it our own, and we've done it, and we haven't broken the bank, and that's to me the most exciting. Well, besides the fact that I love it and it makes me feel at home, and everybody that comes to my home says it's a very welcoming home. That's what I want. I want my home to welcome you in, um, and being able to do it on a budget is is just even better because then I know that I'm not just throwing money away um, and I'm making them my own. I'm making the products my own. And so the satisfaction that I get is just huge. 
So when I get these, um, when they're completely dry and they're about dry, it took me about an hour to paint them. What I did is I went through and I whitewashed them with the white paint. I let it dry for about five minutes and then I came back with the black paint just ever so lightly and I just distressed it. I went over the top of it with the black paint. And it has gone from this awfully mustardy brown color to this beautiful white distressed look. And I just think they turned out fantastic. I can't wait to get them up. And once I get them up, I will definitely shoot you another video and let you know. Um, Carrie's Corner is all about DIY. We're here to help you. We've got some great products and services on the website. We're going to have some great sales coming for the holiday season. So there's plenty of merchandise to choose from. You can also um, become a member and we will share all of our DIY secrets with you. And you can also go on and you can order specialty products if you're interested in any of our specialty homemade to tailor to custom um, products for you if that's something that you're looking for. So that's it for today. I hope it's a great Saturday wherever you are. I hope you're doing something that you love. This is what I love to do, and um, I'd love to share it with you. If I can help you in any way, of course, just shoot me a message, leave me a comment. Please give me a thumbs up and stop by my channel. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if there's a specific project that you are thinking about and you don't know how to get it done. Please let me know. We'd love to help you. That's what we're here for. So get out, enjoy this beautiful fall weather, and I will see you next week. God bless and stay safe. Bye-bye.